Hey, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about how do you use Microsoft Copilot on your MacBook. There are three different ways, and I'm going to show you all of these in today's video. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this. All right, Microsoft Copilot is an AI companion app from Microsoft. It's their answer to ChatGPT, and also used to be called Bing AI Chat but they've rebranded it to Microsoft Copilot. So on your Mac, so I'm using Mac right now, if you go to copilot.microsoft.com, you're gonna see this page and you'll just sign in with your Hotmail Outlook account. Uh, that's your method number one, but let me actually step back for a second. Let me close this. And here you go. So this is my Google Chrome. You can see I'm using Chrome. On your Google Chrome, this is method number one, by the way, you are going to go to copilot.microsoft.com and then sign in. I'm already signed in with my Hotmail account. Just sign in with your account and then here you go. This is your Copilot, your everyday companion. This is like ChatGPT, but there are some hidden features which I'll show you in a second. Now, before this is method number one, a much better way, method number two is if you install, this is Microsoft Edge. So if you install the Edge browser on your MacBook, you're able to, the experience is actually a little bit better. So I'm still testing this, but you can see on Microsoft Edge, look on the sidebar, I have a Copilot sidebar. So I'm able to, it's a chatbot, I can voice chat, I can upload images, I can do whatever I want. There are different modes, uh, they're composed, they're insights. So your Copilot, if you use Microsoft Edge, your Copilot is integrated as a sidebar. So experience is more seamless. So this was method number two, but let's go back to method number one because that's what I use on daily basis. And probably if you're like me and you do not want to shift or switch from Google Chrome to Microsoft Edge, that's fine. You can still use Copilot. So you're going to go to copilot.microsoft.com and then here you go. Here is uh, everything. You can chat, organize, have it do daily tasks for you. Uh, you can voice, you can use your voice to give commands. You can upload images. For example, let me actually upload something, upload an image from my device. And let's actually, that's a, so I'm going to say, what do you see in this photo? Let's see, this is a test for uh, Microsoft Copilot. So it's actually a roof leak in my house. And you can see, uh, some patches here. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, here you go. So this is really interesting. Took a few seconds, but first it told me, I asked, what do you see? It said, "My, I can't respond. I said, try again. I can't answer, but it's able to understand what's going on. How do you repair? How do you fix ceiling? And then I said, okay, describe the image. And it gave me accurate description. Wow, this is amazing. So you're able to voice chat. You're able to Use images as part of your prompt. The wall appears to be in good condition. The, there's a peeling paint on the ceiling. That's exactly what's going on in this image. So it's really neat. But here is my favorite use case with copilot.microsoft.com. By the way, you're able to use GPT-4 and DALI-3 for free. So here's something that I did earlier. You might have seen a lot of those viral images on the internet. People they have 3D avatars on social media trending. Uh, you can use copilot.microsoft.com to create those for free. So for example, here's a simple prompt like I said. By the way, I'll put this in the comments or uh, description below so you can access this. Uh, 3D illustration of a realistic man, uh, t-shirt, his name, and then the back icon should be uh, YouTube, prominent or Instagram. And then look at this. So neat. And these are the viral 3d avatars images that are going uh, that are all over the internet so with copilot on microsoft.com you're able to create these in seconds so let's see if i can access some other ones that i've done in the past so here's another one so 3d illustration of a man in 40 with facebook in the background that's a logo he's sitting on the facebook um, and then also display the username. Again, I can give you this exact prompt. You can play with this and generate for your favorite social media and your uh, favorite, you can put whatever text you want. So you can see if I open, by the way, if I open, it opens in the Microsoft uh, Bing Image Creator. Look at this. Because Microsoft Copilot is actually just a rebrand from Bing Chat like we discussed earlier. So stepping back, 
Copilot, which is Microsoft's answer to ChatGPT. It's a crazy good AI chatbot or AI companion. Anything you can imagine you can do. You can use Dolly, and here's a proof. You can use Dolly 3 inside it for free. I didn't have to pay anything. And here are other prompts that I've used. I don't know what happened here. Um, the other cool thing you can do is uh, if you click on plugins and scroll down and you're going to enable or use the plugin sooner and you're able to generate songs. I did that earlier. So let me go back to the chat. So I said make a song about Happy New Year. And here was the song that it created. Nice. So it generates music for you. It generates uh, images for you using DALI 3. Uh, and then also it uses GPT 4. All right. Method number three. So you're able to use it in your Google Chrome on Microsoft. You're also able to, if you want to just get the uh, Microsoft Edge, the experience is much more integrated. You can do that. Or the third method, which I discovered just today, and it's amazing on your macbook go to your apple your app store and search for microsoft copilot <laughs> and guess what there is a mac app that they have launched so i haven't played with this but it's pretty similar let me open this so here you go and you can see right here it uses gpt4 and also dolly3 so cool so obviously if you're using windows the experience is going to be so much cooler better and more integrated because you can use this inside paint uh, paint uh, also excel powerpoint you name it word doc but for for um, macbook users like me the multiple ways you're able to use the copilot uh, app or tool ai companion from microsoft any questions let me know before you go like and share this video so more people can see this and i'll see you in this next video bye for now